Hello and welcome to another edition of Jail with Mark. This is a little different this time. It's going to be a bit of a test video. Recently, I contacted De La Rowney to see if they had any products that they would like me to test on the gel plate for them. And they were kind enough to send me these fluid acrylics uh, by System 3. Um, and I've been quite interested in trying out some fluid acrylics on the gel plate because I've had a bit of a idea going on in my head for a, for a while and um so it's good that they uh allowed me this opportunity to test out this um idea that's been bouncing around inside my head so this is what they sent me their um little um kind of tubes of acrylic and they've um i think they're about 29 mil something like that um and they've got uh this very fine uh, little point to them or tube applicator uh, as you will um, for squeezing out the paint I think you can do like writing with it and stuff if I go on to the um, De La Rowney website they say this about them um, they say uh, System 3 fluid acrylics are versatile multi-surface pigment based and ideal for multi technique applications the system 3 fluid acrylics offer great coverage making them perfect for murals and other large surface area applications high intense pigment load maintains depth of color and vibrancy ideal for pouring dripping and all liquid art techniques and offers great coverage so uh, i'm gonna give it a test so here we go but first of all before I uh, go any further, I want to give a little bit of a shout out to a fan of mine, I've been told, uh, and that is 12 year old Adrian. Uh, apparently, he's been watching my videos and um, trying out some of my techniques and his grandma says he loves doing some gel plating. So this is to you, Adrian. Keep up the good work. Hopefully you'll be able to try this little technique out that I'm messing about with in this video. So, I am doing a image of, um, like, a portrait that I've done quite a lot in gel, plate, gel plating. Um, it's something I started on when I first got a gel plate. I set myself a little task, and that was to have one subject. So, I did this portrait, and I basically tried loads of different techniques and experiments to see what I could do on a gel plate and um, and what various looks and images I could create with this one style um, image. So here I'm just basically, I've put a little paper mask down because I'm doing the background first uh, and I'm trying to get a bit of a textural background so I've done a few different colours. I started with a bit of the like a yellow and then I had some packaging paper and then I put down a bit more acrylic paint and I tried a bit of tin foil or aluminium foil if you're from overseas. Uh, and then I'm just, I'm letting each layer dry. I mean, they dry pretty quickly. Uh, and then I'm just adding more paint over the top of the textural layers. So hopefully, and I'm going from a light to dark appearance. So the light will show through the dark on the finished print. So after I'd done that, I then removed the paper mask and I dried the background before doing this painting. So the image you can see is uh, a printout underneath my gel plate, and it's just giving me a, uh, a reference point to be able to fill in um, a few of the details. So I'm just doing eyes, uh, nose and mouth. Um, all the other stuff I'm, I'm ignoring, and I've just gone from a kind of like dark brown and turquoise combination for the, the shadows and highlights, because I'm going to do the dripping over the top of this, but I wanted the eyes, nose and mouth to be at the forefront of the image. So I'm like always working in reverse, as it were. Now, the paint that I'm using for this bit is, is all by Amsterdam, uh, Royal Talons, which is a kind of go-to paint for me. I, I like this paint. It has nice coverage and it comes off of the plate well for me. Um, so, yeah. Also, I'm trying a new little bit of editing on this video where as you've probably seen it keeps cutting zooming in and out and speeding up slowing down I'm just trying to 
make my videos a little bit more visually interesting um, and it gives you a bit more of an idea of seeing what I'm doing a bit closer up. So let me know in the comments if you think it's working or if you think it's not. Here we go with the fluid acrylic. Now, the idea was I was going to do lots of pools of colour or little circles, dots, what have you. And then the idea is to lift up the plate and let gravity do its work. So I was trying to kind of think where I wanted the colours to be. I wasn't really sure how fluid these paints were going to be. So I was going in blind, really. And I didn't know how much paint to actually use either. But coming out of these tubes, they seem to be really nice and fluid. And they are, like they say, they are really punchy in colour. Uh, I like that. I'm quite into colour at the moment in my work. So as you can see, I'm just dotted it around thinking, where is it going to go? I don't want to put too much around the eyes. As I wanted you to see the definition of the drips around those areas, I tried to come up with a bit of a pleasant colour combination in relation to each other with where the dots were. I think, you know, that kind of looks all right. These are all a bit off the cuff when I'm doing these experiments, really. And it's about being intuitive and confident with your placements. So then I kind of rigged up this, I had this box lying around that I'd made for something in the past, and I had a bit of perspex. So I thought if I stick the gel plate to the perspex, it won't fall off and hence I can then lift up this board and let the fluid acrylic do its magic. Now it's quite satisfying watching paint drip I think personally. So um, there's a few spots that I thought could have done with a little bit more paint so as these little um, applicators have got the little nozzle on it's, it makes it really easy just to add a bit more. I actually when I was doing it I really like the way it looked now but I know this is the back of the print, so it's not what you see. I find quite a lot of the time when I'm doing my gel plates that I quite like the way it looks from behind than how it's going to look at the front. Well, I like normally like how it looks at the front as well, but um, you keep these little ideas in your head and then you think, well, on my next one, maybe I could do it in the reverse of the reverse, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do another one where by... I don't do the detail of the eyes and the mouth and the nose first, but second. That's going to take a little bit of planning, strategic placement, really, of where all the drips go. So now uh, I basically left fluid acrylic paint dripping and I just left it overnight just to let gravity carry on and to make sure it was really dry when I came to this stage which is just the infill so don't have to be too delicate with it you know I I just did a bit of a kind of a loose mix of white a couple of pinks oh I think there's a couple of pinks I don't think it was white in it actually I'm applying it in quite a loose manner uh, fairly liberally uh, because of the uh, texture of the dripped paint uh, it is fairly fit in places I want to make sure that I was able to get a good adhesion to the paper when I put it onto the paper as this is my wet layer and you want there to be a good bond between the two surfaces whilst it was still wet I then placed it onto my paper left it overnight had it with a weight on top, I, it was left for a good, probably, was it, was it left overnight? I can't remember. Anyway, it was definitely left for a good two or three hours, put it that way. And it came off nice, It nothing stuck to the plate. Yeah, I just took my time, um, you know, eased it down. I, I always find now that if you take the plate from the print rather than the print from the plate you don't get too much um, stress on the paper I'm also using uh, what's called a poster board it's about two mil thick three mil thick so it doesn't really bend so trying to get this off of the plate is quite difficult so it's easier to do it the other way around as you can see it's got a very it's got quite a different look to the drips the drips still work it's it's different I like it it looks quite kind of like a disco ball, I don't know. Uh, but I didn't really like how the background worked on this one. Um, it was okay, um, the textural elements there. I think I used the wrong choice of colours, um, but I don't think also it was contrasted enough with the actual image. 
Uh, so all I did was I, I just basically afterwards just filled it in with a block colour and I used a black Posca pen. So in conclusion, I was quite surprised and pleasantly by the System 3 Fluid Acrylics by Dale Rowney I worked on the gel plate. I wasn't sure if they would work or wouldn't work, um, but they did. They worked well. 